Paranormal Scratches Part 1 How It Started In 1999 to the year 2000, I recall my wife and I went to watch a movie called Blair Witch. This was the first movie like this of its kind. After the movie, I was totally freaked out. My wife the same. She said she was feeling sick, so she had her grandma prayed for her and she felt a little better. For me, I was supposed to be a man and suck it up and whatnot. Anyways, it felt really strange being scared of every dark corner of the room, jumpy at the slightest shadow moment, and even freaked out in the darkness of night. As a young person, I've been watching many scary movies before and never felt as dramatic as this. Anyways, this seemed to open a doorway to many bad paranormal things in my life. And uh, here's how it started. I woke up on a weekday, getting ready to go to school and to work. I was in college at that time. I got up from bed and felt some sting sensation on my back. I didn't think much, but decided to take a look in the mirror. I saw six to nine individual scratches and didn't really think much. My back was slightly bleeding as there were needle-like scratches. I thought my wife scratched me with her extended nails, but it did not make sense and there were one too many scratches. I then thought it was our bed. Our mattress was old and ripped along one of the sides. There were some metal sticking out which could potentially have scratched me, but I found it hard to believe it scratched me this many times during the night. The scratches on my back were needle-like, almost fine precision without wavering from the drawn lines. The scratches were literally from shoulder blade to shoulder blade. This was the first time this ever happened and I secretly blamed my wife doing this while she was sleeping. One Saturday I sat down with my wife and tried to get a confession from her. My darling, did you do this? No, she exclaimed. How could this be? I I thought out loud. If it's not you and the bed can only do so many, then what? Could it be paranormal? It can't be, I thought. I remember sitting on that bed with my wife in disbelief. I was even more scared now than ever. This was just the beginning of the worst to come, and I knew that. Didn't think it would last for years though.